Oh my gosh, hammered. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, y'all. We're doing just our, our final checks on everything. We've got the, uh, the boat iced down, sandwiches, snacks. We've got a, like a solid 10 hours of sleep. Legs absolutely scorched yesterday from sunburn. Face, I had to sleep it off. But this morning, we're ready to go do it again. And the chance at catching a giant. Just roll up in the old stealth wagon here today. And let's get down to the water. Yeah, there's about, I don't know, what is it, a dozen hogs? A dozen there? hogs on the point where we were catching them yesterday. Definitely found something yesterday that is worth coming back to and checking again. There could be even more fish here today. It's one of, it's one of those type spots. 20 fish out of one real specific area. So something that happened yesterday that we noticed is these little grass clumps right here. These isolated grass clumps, that's where we're seeing some of these bigger fish sitting. Just like you would see them set up on a stump or something like that. And they'll be just kind of like right on the edge. And you'll see little bait, little tilapia and shad come through. That actually might be fish right there at the base of it. The, the male bass are like up in those sticks, stick type areas. And they definitely got progressively up there and kind of locking on some trees as the, the sun got up yesterday. Uh, but these bigger females seem to be committed to hanging around a little bit until everything's just peachy. Hang on, hang on. This is not it. This is not it. It's that one. Wow, well it looked good, didn't it? Yeah, I mean. I bet they're in there. I don't know why we up. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I was fishing the wrong pocket. Um, water's not as turbid as it was yesterday morning. Are you throwing a moving bait right now? Yeah, I'm throwing my little reeler worm. Your little reeler, all right. I think I went so far to say I have never caught a bass in that pocket, so that's why we skipped it. Oh my gosh. I just got rattled. absolutely pummeled there. Right on the points, it's shallow. Could have been the old morning two pounder. Got him. Was it a two pounder? Yes. No. Yes. Three? Is it? No, it is. Two pounder. Yeah. I like him though. I like his girth. He's chunk, dude. He looks like me. <laughs> Look at his belly comparison. Ew. And again, the sh shallow around the stickies, the rocks, boom male but any day now these females could be uh coming up in there why can't you just back down like yeah, every other human? when you are uh launching your boat just back down the ramp like a normal human being and don't drive towards people <laughs> like seven feet in front of them got it not a good hook set oh i i could tell you right off the bat that wasn't going to be a, a toadstool but Bank runners, baby. Makes sense. I mean, these Does. points were getting blistered with the wind yesterday. There's probably a yep. ton of bait on them. And... There we go. So, another one on the saucy. Oh, look at him. He's checking. We got a guy over here. He's just 
I just don't like this guy. I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't. I don't like the way he's running right now. I don't like the way he drives. There's nothing about this guy that I'm, I'm liking. And if I have to defend my juice, there's an alligator on our juice, by the way. This guy wants to come in here. He's thinking. Defensive posture. Yeah, I'm going full defense right now. The size of that lizard on our point. Yeah, there's a big old lizard sitting on our our juice point. It's good luck, man. Good luck, lizards. I see a bass right now. Just suspended off from that grass, just hovering, just waiting for that temperature to get just so. How many were right? 63.9. Oh, wow. Pretty crazy. Good him? No. No. Just the old suspendo on the point. Oh. Glad I'm doing this sort of in a three video series down here, just documenting every day. So you guys can kind of see what is going on in the spawn because we'll see. We'll see if this theory comes to fruition. For fruition? Fruition. Fruition. What a funny word. We've come to our juice point right here. Haven't received a bite yet. Concerning, however, we have hope because water temperature is two degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Little bitty temperature changes are huge this time of year. 60 versus 62 could mean they're sitting in eight foot waiting to move up or they're in two foot doing it. We have a ton of trees in here and yesterday we caught a few up shallow at, towards the end of the day, kind of giving us that indicator of, well, they are starting to move in here and make beds and they're gonna spawn. And it was mostly males that we caught doing that. However, these big females could be on some of these trees as well. So I think we're gonna be doing some more flipping, maybe break out jigs um, and obviously just pound that Texas rig. Such a versatile, great lure to swim around, fish on the bottom. You could bed fish with it, you know, you target cast, you can do so many things. You got one, bud? You got one? I saw you step back. I almost gave it the crack. Whew. I thought the, I thought the Kraken was gonna be unleashed right there. There are two big alligators that live in this pocket and Trey just brought up a good point. He said, uh, I wonder how many they ate off beds last night. Cause they do eat them. And that's a pretty easy situation to get a nice little snack. So anyway, we'll see. We're gonna maybe have to adapt, but uh, I wanna I wanna see this theory come true. Hoping so. Shallow, flipping bags. Ooh, it's fun times. Time to go to work with the old T rig a little bit here. Throwing the crack and cross still. So they they seem like they wanted some something with some authority on the back end you know i uh, might go with uh trench hog here today as well you know, if i'm a you know three or four pound male bass i'm gonna move just right in here slide i'm gonna slide right on in here i'm gonna start fanning out yes yes hardwood isolated grass around them Oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. Had to be a bed fish. Man, I did like the double step full swing on that yes, thing. They're coming in. They're getting settled. Calling our shots. Yep. That ought to be one right there. My goodness. Coming in and getting settled. Dragon plastics. Any wood. Oh my gosh, hammered. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Here we go. On the stump. And it's not huge, but that's what we're talking about right there. Bunker log? Or no, uh, crack and craw. Crack and craw. Just, dude, smoked it. Okay. I thought it was going to be huge. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Just the power on that bite was intense. There we go. There's a nice getting up there in that three skis. That's what you using. Um, three eighths. So here's the theory that me and Trey have is, you know, 
you throw to the bank these little stickies you're gonna get those males this is still a male but these bigger fish potentially like big five eight pound females are gonna be sitting on this harder stuff which could get real scary yes. real scary terrifying <clears throat> and females they'll come up for like literally hours uh, they don't stay on the beds very long. You know, if you see a big female on a bed, probably won't be there tomorrow. The males will stay there for like a week, week and a half, something like that. Um, females, they're, they're more shadowy, elusive. So I'm gonna retie for a good measure. And uh, these trees are nasty. We're gonna get out the lumber and just be tacticians here today. Oh, bandito bug. I yeah, bandito bug. Normally, see, normally I go with the bandito bug. A little more sneaky legs, where you need a little subtle. Dude, that one hit it on the way down. Oh my! Aggressively. Just ran with it. Ran with it. On the bug. Freshies. There's fresh tubs. <clears throat> this is an area all that we didn't get any bites yesterday. Correct. This, these are really shallow, fresh, moved up bass that were congregated on these little points. There's this one particular one in the pocket yesterday. So that and those snacks, and drinks, and cap. Ooh, yeah. Tasty boy. Good. Yes, sir. South Texas Sunrise. This is the first little spot we're going. One better ones of the day thus far. Yeah, thank you. Boys calendar. Three, three and a half pounds. Fun times. Fun times. Woohoo! Stuck good. Right in that upper mouth section. I flipped into the that little piece of brush over there. That was actually a double combo high expectation spot because it's a log mixed in with the stickies, the stick ups. And that fish, like these spawning fish, when they grab it, it's a light hit and then they just move with it. Like a lot of these bites we're getting, they're they're moving away with it, and that's what we're feeling. And um, I want to be kind of careful on those big ones because if you're not paying attention they can wrap you around three different things before you even know it uh, and what they're doing is they're moving things like craws and these little bugs and whatever you're throwing in there off their beds they're getting it away from that area but uh it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing a little sniff maybe even another another fish bloody nose today from sniffing one a little bowel scar love to see it see you boy Go make some big babies. Bless it, baby. Little. Oh my gosh, dude. I wasn't even paying attention to y'all. I just, my bait was moving when I picked it up. Move it off, 40 feet to the left. And you better bring your muscle. 25 pound test, not playing around today. Oh, dude, one just ate on the bank. I saw that. Woo -hoo -hoo. My goodness. It has begun. Oh my gosh. That was like a tuna did it. A tuner. There's one. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Little scooter. The spot, our juice spot that we had 20 fish on yesterday. We just got our first fish on it. But it's really dark. I mean, it's overcast. Um, I think these fish probably want the sun. They want that water to warm up. It's kind of a weird, just, you know, it's not really what's jiving with them. And I think it's making a lot of the fish suspend too, just what we've seen on the graph. Uh, usually when you have good sun, fish want to lock on to something. They'll, they'll get on all these good targets, these trees. And when it's overcast, they just, eh, it just kind of, lifts that 
pressure to get on something for them and they kind of float around, they'll suspend. Anytime a fish is suspended, it makes them harder. And we've seen a few on the live scope that, uh, you know, they'll come up at our baits or looking at them, but they're not, they're not munching. So it's kind of a weird little time period. We're trying to think, have we just beat this spot up so much or is it just a timing thing? Because the theory this morning was that, oh, okay, so we've got some going on here. The theory this morning was like all these little bucks and all, you know, all these smaller fish that we were catching, which are still fun size, are going to be moving up on these, uh, on these trees and going into spawn, which some of them are. I just don't think the females are really in there yet. I haven't fully committed, but all these fish are just fresh. You know, if you're catching spawn fish and they're all red and beat up, they have sores on them, it's a good indicator that they've been in there a while and uh, the fish have been beat up. These, these fish don't have any marks in their mouth. Oh gosh, hot, hot potato right there. Oh. We have probably caught 40 fish out of this pocket at this point. <laughs> I think it's time for some fresh real estate. Things are getting a little funky, so we're having to adjust, taking you along for the ride. And hopefully we get it figured out. We all learn lessons together. That's what it's all about. LFG and a Mercury. You know what I'm saying? What happened on that guy? I don't even know. Ooh. Yeah. Come here, old boy. Just the old rando windy bank. Sweat baiter. A little better size on that. There we go. The sauce. Same program. Same thing. It's like we're just cloning. Yeah, yeah, just a little sun peak. And wha bam! Next one. Nice little two and a half ski. That's like the average size fish, which is just incredible fun. Alright, it's time to fish this pocket. It's got all these trees. It's windy. It's gonna be difficult. Let's see if we can get the one. There we go, yay, yo. Another one amongst the trees. That's where a real big one should be, but. I'm gonna let this one go. You make it on your own. Do you need assistance? You got it, you got this. I'll just give you a little help. Oh, man, that one's got some teeth. Would you go right by that tree? Catching a lot of fish again today, but we're just waiting on that one. Oh my gosh! Okay, folks, it is ripping out here. And we've caught a few more buck bass, but no biggins. What we're gonna do is just totally switch our situation. And we're going to um, go to a different boat ramp that has some access to some other areas that we can get to uh, that maybe we'll get some bites. Maybe we won't. But at this point, we just feel like we've, um, we've kind of gone through there. We, Trey had one really good fish that pulled off on a crankbait. All the other ones have been two skis, three pounders. This is the biggest ones so far today. Not complaining, fun times, but I mean, we're on the land of giants here. We need to try, put ourselves in position to, uh, to try to catch a mondo. And right now we're just kind of burnt out in the area. So we're gonna trailer up, we're gonna head to another spot. here in the wind it's a daggone Bassmaster Classic out here there's like 50 boats at the ramp uh, words out they left Ivy they're coming here 
Bigger fish on the line, big one. Okay. Pull down, take her easy. Big one up in the chalos. Now here's a real one. Oh my gosh, man. Just hefty. That's a big one. Come here, pig. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh. buddy. That's a stud. Oh. I'm gonna say, you know, getting up in the high six, maybe seven category. All day we've been flipping at those same sort of stick ups, getting two pounders. That was like off. Like was it off? Point. Yeah. I like it. On a bed for sure. Well, we've had three bites in here. Two of them have taken just our pinchers. I'm just wondering if they're they're all bed fish, just okay. chunky butts. That one. That's a chunky butt. Let's put it in for a sec, get it revived, get a couple picks. Let her go. That's what I'm talking about. We needed that one, you know? A little, little, little scenery pick change. Yes. Little pick me up, come back out here, wah bam. We made the right move. It's good times. Feisty, ready to, ready to fight. Pretty fresh. Just moving up, doing the spawn game. Dreaded six, six. Yeah, six, 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 seven. Six pound, six ounce bohemoth. I think the stash is the key ingredient. <laughs> Catching... The stash and the jorts, dude. Look at that tail. Little little rub. Oh yeah. Definitely, Been rubbing up there. Definitely rubbing rubbing bellies up there. Okay, so we predicted this morning, we were like, little ones are gonna be in the stickies, big ones are gonna be on the trees. We haven't been able to pull one out of the trees, but we just pulled a big one out of the stickies. So we also changed mid lake. They we might did. be a little further along up here. Yeah, it's six almost sixty seven degrees. Yeah. This might be the recipe. It's almost sixty seven degrees, so the females might be fully up where we just had dabblers yes. down there. Agreed. So Agreed. Alright, well we know we know where they're at now. We can just concentrate on shallow and just pick away. I'm not mad at it. Go make your babies. Mm-hmm. Daddy like. Giving it the old tip tip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. My rod rattled. Did you see it? Yes. I cannot believe that that, I'll let him have it. Just a couple. I mean, just. Gave me heart palpitations, that one. Hmm, there he is. Oh, dude. It's gotta be a bed fish. Oh, right under the boat. This yeah, could be big, big. Oh, nice. Really big. Not a typical behavior. They are absolutely smoking that bandito bug now. Yeah, I have, by the way, I've used like 30 of those. So <laughs> oh, that's cool. You don't have many left. I have switched up to a, a trench hog because I used my last watermelon red um, track and craw. We're just going through the plastics here. Love mm. to see that. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. No leeches up here. Like twice clean, buddies. Retired. Mm -hmm. Let him eat the old hog a little bit. Got him. There we go. Three o'clock, man. So we're gonna fish the evening today. I'm into it. So yesterday we had a uh, we had a just banger morning and then as the day went on it got a little tough fish started to lock down uh, we've changed locations and i think it's really helped with this afternoon by the fisher they really seem to be staying up um, we've got a female on a bed so far uh, a lot of males moving up we're just getting a lot of bites like it's turning into yesterday's morning which is awesome and i'm gonna i'm gonna stay with uh trench hog 
just for a little bit. This is the full size trench hog. Three eighths ounce weight, four odd hook. This is literally the same thing. Same exact rig I was sewing with the crack and crawl. 25 pound line, muscle, and uh, sometimes you need it. There's one. Oh, right on that grass line, just gave me old Popsky with the hog. Oh, yeah. Where's your sister? No, you wouldn't be sleeping with your sister, would you? Unless your Where's last Tina? name is Outlaw. Where's Tina? Just freshies. Looks more like grass fish than most of the ones we've seen. Does. Pretty one. See you, bud. I saw that fish come. That fish came over. I saw the stick move and come get it. More than three skis. <gasps> nice fat back. Love it, I have one. Thick back. Working away. There's definitely something special about the point behind us. There's 10 feet of water really close to it. And I think that has a lot to do with uh, catching these male bass like this, but also the potential for really, really big ones. You know, Trey got that six and a half, so they're here. Speedy little demon, that one. Another one on the line. Same size. Risky. Some healthy big males in here. God, I love Texas. <laughs> Don't you just love Texas? <laughs> Texas is the place, man. It's uh. Where would you rather be in March? Oh, man, man, it's scary. Where like, would you rather be? The banks get scary. You yeah. know? That's a oh, nice one, dude. Trying to break it. There's really nothing special about this technique, this is like, just get to the bank and go slow. Big it, nice. Got the old bent rod pattern happening over here with old, old Nitro. As soon as he saw a stick one, he just, he shut her down. Oh, folks, we are running out of plastics. Like, I haven't in a while. I'm not saying this because we sell soft plastics <laughs> for a living, but if you have something you like, you should have like 10 packs of it. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. Because your favorite color and your favorite one, yeah. Get own, you a bunch. Own stock in it. Especially for March. Good thing I know where more of these are. It's dark. Good one, too. Dark ski. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, they just pull like savages. Five in? Hey! Yay! We're out here ripping darts, bud. My first fish on the dart, decided to pick it up. And uh, glad I did. It's a tasty one. It's a nice upper three, getting up there in the four categories. I kept seeing these uh, these blobs, kind of floating around in the grass. I was like, you know, I haven't really been able to get the dart out yet because it's so windy. A weightless, uh, weightless bait, really hard to throw with the wind. But nice, calm little section. I was able to get this guy. The dart. Like, we could barely get bites. Like, it was brutal. Like, I caught. Oh, God. Oh. I'm hooked up, too. Oh, my. Somebody's got a big one. I think it's you. Who has a fish? I can't tell what's going on. Dude, I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. I have a big one. I have a big one on. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one. I got a big one on the dart, bro. Oh my gosh. What the hell is happening? What? What? Oh that's a giant. Yeah, dude, that's a big fish. Got him on the outside? It's like lasso or something. Wait. Oh my god. I have no idea how. I don't know what is going on. Got that booger? Open your mouth, Sally. That's margarita. Oh, right that is margarita. I don't know what happened. I had, like, I had a, I, I had a bite. Like, jeez, oh, little child right now. That's gonna be a retie. Look at our, look at the situation we got here, folks. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, we got a big one. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the hell just happened right there no idea like there there is a there's a possibility that trey trey said he got a giant bite he definitely had a fit we both hooked up at the same time and then somewhere during the reeling our lines crossed and his fish pulled off and it makes me wonder if like when our lines got tangled if i could have lost my fish and hooked his like i don't know it's just kind of weird that that fish was hooked on the outside of the mouth he got a hard thump, so I don't know. I, I could have like totally swiped that fish. <laughs> don't we know. Got it in the boat. I don't know. It's it's in the boat. We'll uh, we'll just say it was a co catch. If it was like a twelve pounder, we'd probably be like fist fighting. Over it. <laughs> I think we've both seen fish this big before, but still, we're gonna put it on the scale and uh, see how big it is. I'm gonna say it's in the A class. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a certified Texas Mondo if I've ever seen one. Eight five. I said if if I catch a bass anywhere over eight pounds, it's gonna be called Marguerite. Just beautiful, beautiful little name for these South Texas biggins. <sighs> Me more. All right, y'all. Big eight pounder. Letting it back in to the beautiful waters of Choke Canyon. See a big girl. A little tickle. Mm. Another big one, dude. On a dart, bud. You know, the dart. Crush it. Woo! Oh they seem to be enjoying something about that. Five pounder for sure. Absolutely. Oh, buddy. The old chunky bud. Oh my gosh. Guys, next cast, it's at least a five. I switched colors, but same deal, same spot. The dart, six inch, twitched it a couple times, let her sink, and juicy booty McGee's. Ooh, there's something going on with the dart, man. Yeah. I'm oh my. Bouncing on nine ten. Five pound, nine ounce bass. Another beauty. So rigging up this dart, the only thing special about it is I've got a little nail weight in it between that hook point and the the uh, bend in the shank. So it's got a little more sink to it, but that's the six inch right there. In natural, a little chartreuse, kind of looks like the tilapia down here. In the grass, we could see these, these bass that aren't quite set up on beds, they're just kind of cruising. And uh, they're suspended. So. We've tried throwing some other hard baits, haven't had much luck. Most everything we've gotten has been on plastics and this, uh, this dart just kind of floats through the column. It'll settle on top of the grass and give the, the fish a chance to come up there and grab it. Hooked up. That might be the day ender. What do we got? Just a little screamer. Just a little bank runner. Another delicious little South Texas. Big leech. I'm just gonna have the, the jorts in my background. That's all I need. The power of the jorts. Trey told me, he was like, when it's jort season, I'm catching them. <laughs> and we have caught them, y'all. Um, another great day out here. Uh, what did we say our best five would have went? About 26, 27 pounds. About 26, 27 pounds. Uh, not a bad day. Not a bad day. Now, there are some 
some real big ones down here. We captured we captured one today. Um, biggest yesterday was seven. You know, eight today. Maybe we'll get that old nine or ten tomorrow. So we're gonna shut it down right here. And we've been learning a lot. We've been learning a lot. So uh, we've actually got another buddy on the water right now. Uh, one of my friends, one of Trey's friends, and uh, he was catching them a little different way. So that was that was good to see. But I would say, like, if we were gonna fish a tournament tomorrow, we would be, you know, doing okay. Right. We'd be we be doing okay. Um, and for not not being down here in a long time, I just I love this lake and um, it sets up really good for if you like shallow fishing and just I don't know picking apart stuff right now. So it's a lot of fun, but. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you learned something today. You better smash that like button for catching Mondos. And we will see you very soon. Oh, yeah. And don't forget, if you want to get any of the stuff you're using today, link down in the description. LFG, 10% off. All things at GuggenSquad.com. Thanks for visiting. We'll see you on the next one.